Hey guys, welcome back to Reno Ready. Today we're going to be showing you how to make some outdoor patio furniture. I have wanted an outdoor set for about two years now, probably since we moved in, and they are crazy expensive. So Jamie had this really great idea that we could just make our own. So you guys are going to see that we've already made a chair and a couch. We did this so we could figure out the best way to build it structurally, design-wise, and just the easiest way we were going to show you so you guys can learn from all of our mistakes. All right, so here are the tools you're going to need. A miter saw or a circular saw, a drill, screws, a square, a pencil, and a tape measure. And the materials you're going to need are 2x4s, 2x6s, fence boards, and cushions. You can choose to make your own outdoor cushions if you like. We found it was just easier for us to make our own because I particularly don't like to sew. And they were on sale. Now the quantity of your materials is going to vary depending on how many things you're going to make. Chairs, couches, love seat, so on. So to start, we got all of our measurements. We measured the cushion and it was 24 by 25. Then we referenced another chair we already had to figure out exactly how high we wanted the seat to be and the armrests. So for us, our legs from the base to the top are going to be 24 inches. The armrests would sit at the top at 24 and then the seat would be positioned 7 inches below. Then we started cutting our 2 by 6 pieces. We needed 4 24 inch legs with a 45 degree angle at the top. So the two arms were 27 inches long with two 45s on each end. For the base, we needed two 24 inch pieces for the sides and two 25 inch pieces for the front. Then we needed two 24 inch two by four pieces for the side supports for the slats. Then out of some scrap wood we had laying around, we made four triangles out of two by fours. Slats are built to help support the weight of the person sitting in as well as the cushion and the triangle, triangles, and the triangles are we're using for support underneath our arms. Now that you've measured and cut all your pieces, we're gonna start piecing the whole thing together. We're gonna start off by making our front and back leg supports. You're gonna take your 25 inch two by six front piece and your 24 inch two by six legs and make an H. You'll notice that Jamie screws them in all on an angle so that no screw holes are visible. We're doing this for a more professional look essentially and so we ideally want these to look like we could have bought them. Now we're gonna take the two by four and two by six side pieces and screw them in all together. Laid, what did I write there? Then lay down one of your edges and drill them in on both sides. Now that your base is assembled, you can insert your slats and secure them with the screws. To make your arms, you're going to attach your triangle supports first, then place on top of your legs and screw them into place. Making sure all the 45s are nice and flush. That's if very... you're not comfortable with 45s, you can always screw it together. It just doesn't look as nice. If you want, you can always put your cushion on top and see what it looks like. We did that the first few times um, because we were just really nervous. So always double check everything before you move on and then the whole thing's done and nothing fits. So now you want to figure out how high you want your backrest. We made ours a little smaller than our cushions so that it wouldn't show and it was just a lot more comfortable that way. So we cut two 2x4s two at 14 inches with 45 degree angles on the tops. Then we cut one 2x4 two with two 45s on each side. When you're securing your backrest to your chair, you want to have a bit on an angle. Most chairs you'll find are angled on the backrest and that's just for your comfort. If you have it completely straight, you're going to feel like the cushion's pushing you forward. We faced that when building the couch and we actually had to lean it back a little bit farther. So you'll notice now Jamie's kind of adjusting the backrest to how I'm deciding it feels best and that's how we did it. Once you figure out the angle you like, screw it in on the side. Now you want to secure your slats, but for this one you want to use smaller screws because there's less wood to screw into. And that's it, you're done, you have your chair. So throw your cushions on top, take a seat and relax. So we made a three-seater couch and two chairs. If we bought a set like this in store, they usually go around $2,000. If not more. If not more, yeah. I guess it just it, it's all very circumstantial. What we did is we went to Lowe's and they had a deal on their cushion sets for outdoor cushions. So each set was $60. 
Like I said, depending on how many pieces of furniture you're building is gonna determine the quantity of wood you're gonna need. Um, but yeah, initially we actually wanted to build a love seat, and then we were like, for sixty dollars more, we could have a three-person couch. Yeah, because the chair and the couch, the price doesn't really vary that much because it's just like a few extra pieces of wood. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna have a lot more summer stuff coming up for you. Uh, we have a lot of plans for this backyard because as you will see, it's not in the best shape ever. Let us know what you think and if you guys try to make your outdoor furniture, whether it's based on ours or another one, we'd love to see it. Thanks for watching. Milly! Milly! Milo! Milo. <gasps>